So I'm the managing director of The Nicest Job in Britain, which is a not-for-profit initiative which um, pays an individual to travel around the country and help 40 charities in a year. And within that, they get um, supported by press and media and they positive, positively impact the charity sector by going and helping and volunteering at a different organisation every week. We, uh, they then write a blog and we publicise that to um, our huge network which goes out to the national papers to give the charity sector a much needed boost. I started a blog three years ago called The Good Deed Diary um, where I did a random act of kindness every day for a year. My blog went viral and on the back of that I was offered a position um, on a marketing campaign called The Nicest Job in Britain for a company and it was their CSR approach and I took the challenge on and turned the marketing campaign into a brand which we've now turned into a not-for-profit. It was so successful, I mean we had over 200 press articles across the world, we had a documentary on ITV that it was so big that we didn't want to stop because we made such an impact on the sector. And the interesting thing was that when you work in a job like that you really understand the impact that it has on people's lives. So it doesn't matter how bad your day is, you, at least you can go home and know that you've helped someone. And it was about creating a, a positive environment and ethos for the charity sector, which is what we managed to achieve and we continue to do to this day. I think when you're going in to, to do something, a lot of people, especially doing their degree now, will be attracted to a name. I know I was at that age and, and going into business and wanting to be part of an organisation which they personally affiliate to, whether that be IBM or Apple or Google or Twitter or whatever. But those organisations are very niche and they're very specific and actually the roles within those organisations are very diverse. So I would say find something which you love doing and find a job where you can do that. And with regards to a placement, if you love marketing and you know you love that, Go into an organisation which allows you to explore that and don't necessarily go into a business as well. All of the roles that you want to do are available in the charity and are not for profit and actually you're contributing something to society but you're also doing something which helps other people. It doesn't really matter how much money you earn in the sector because you know that you're making a difference to somebody's life and that is far above and beyond any job satisfaction that you can achieve. So I would generally say find something you love doing, find a placement where you can do that and if you can, see and explore the opportunities within charities because you can do all of the work in a for-profit that you can in a not-for-profit and actually get some feel-good factor out of it. Volunteer experience is invaluable because one, you learn good skills, two, you get to meet people, you get to communicate in effective ways, but you also learn the ability to work as part of a team for something that you're passionate about. And when you're passionate and driven about something, you work so much harder. And when you go to an employer and they can say what you've been doing in your spare time, if you say that you've been volunteering and you've been helping it, this organisation or, or that cause and that you've managed to do something positive for society, it reflects much better on your personality and a lot of the time people employ people on because of the person. It doesn't matter how many degrees you've got and kind of what you've excelled at, but actually a lot of the time it's you're sitting in an interview and you're talking person to person and if you can convey and display that you've got something above and beyond other candidates because you're passionate and willing to go out there and do something, then that stands you in very good stead.